USB powered Star Wars R2D2 desktop vacuum. It's USB powered and it's got a see through box that you can see the R2D2 inside. It's made by Disney or registered by Disney. Uh, it rated 5 volts input. It says GB warning this product is not suitable for children under 3 years due to small parts. Choking hazard. Retain details for reference warning. Strangulation hazard. Not suitable for children under 6 months due to long cord. Recommended for ages 6 plus. The USB cable used with the toy is to be regularly examined for damage to the cord, plug, and other parts. And in the event of such damage, they must not be used until the damage has been repaired. Paladone. Paladone Products Limited. Okay, let's get this open. They fiddly. Okay. Bend this back. Pull it out. Ooh. It feels really light and cheap. <laughs> okay, what's under here? It's uh I think it's a quick start guide. Yeah. Instruction manual. It's a Star Wars R2D2 desktop vacuum cleaner. Instruction manual, plug in, turn on. Okay, uh, ensure the head of the R2D2 is firmly screwed into the body. Okay, shows a picture of it plugged into a laptop. To activate R2D2 desktop vacuum cleaner, push the button on the top. Push it again to turn it off. On the other side, once activated, position R2D2's front leg over the small particles of mess on your desk to vacuum clean your area. To empty, disconnect R2D2 from the power source and unscrew the head. And there's some other warnings. Okay. Yeah, it feels cheap. Uh, it feels very light. I don't think this is going to work very well, but there's only one way to find out, isn't there? So it's made in China. It's got USB cable. Let, let's plug this in. Move up. Move the stuff aside. Move this to the side again. Let's make some space and I'm going to make a mess. I'm going to see if it can clean it up. Put some of the stuff that I don't need away. Okay. Let's find some way to plug this in. Be right back. Oh, there's a USB here. How convenient. Okay, let's try it. Where's the power button? Oh, this is noisy. <laughs> okay, let's let's try some coffee. Sprinkle some coffee granules. And let's try it on. Okay, the granules are too big. I have to lift it up slightly. Let's crush it down a bit. Oh, it looks like it's picking it up. Nope. Yes, no. Yes, no. Okay, it's not. Let's crunch it smaller. It might be too heavy. Uh, guess not. Lost it. So to get the dust out of this R2-D2, you have to decapitate him by twisting his head. And inside it's got some dust, not much, but it has got some, so it's not a total failure. But I've noticed that some of it's actually stuck to the motor, which uh, carries electricity through. So mm, if that dust gets stuck in those gaps over time, it's going to cause some kind of short circuit, I guess. So. I wouldn't say this is totally safe neither, especially when you plug it into a 5 volt USB that's on a wall. Maybe not so bad if you plug it to a laptop, but even still you don't want it to break. On the box it says, powerful suction. Powerful suction. Let me reiterate that. It says, powerful suction. Powerful suction. Anyway, you decide.